and thanks for watching Lo-Fi SGTV. Today with me, uh, my sister from another mother. She says that I look like her older sister. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the beautiful Intra. Hi there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on Lo-Fi. I know you're a very, very busy girl. That's why I love her. Okay, Instra, singer, songwriter, composer, producer, multi instrumentalist, and the first solo artist to be invited by Southwest by Southwest Musical Festival to perform there. So she's kind of a big deal. She sings for commercials, she sings everywhere. She is just well loved by magazine, the media, and people in Singapore. So, Inch, we know that you've been very, very busy. You're the first solo artist from Singapore to be invited to, you know, Southwest. Southwest by Southwest, you know, how does it feel? Um, it was, I think there was a lot of pressure as well, because you know, you're, uh, I did a fundraiser and there were so many people that, that were so willingly part of their money so that I could go for it and make sure that I, you know, have all, sing wave all Singapore flag there. And um, it was, it's great uh, being on that stage sort of semi-representing Singapore and, uh, not semi, sorry, representing Singapore. I'm <laughs> Singaporean, <laughs> sorry. Representing Singapore. And um, yeah, being able to, to showcase that to a lot of other people and a lot of other musicians and peers and even the industry there. So that's, uh, it was really good that a lot of people didn't even, most people didn't really know where Singapore was to begin with. We're not China. <laughs> yeah, I, I get people asking that. And then, um, and it's really cool because uh, you, you get to share with them where we are, what we do, and then they realize, and then most people who find out like, oh yeah! You're the country that, that bands come! <laughs> That's nice to be remembered for something. Yeah, or like, so you are jetting in between Singapore and the States and I know that you are busy with so many projects, I can't even keep up. So give us a lowdown. Uh, well, my new projects are... I'm, I'm right now in Los Angeles planning on recording my new album. So that's probably the most exciting thing. I think 2012 would be the year where I, I am going to produce and a, a really quality album. And that's one of my resolutions, I would say. Um, and uh, I'm invited back again to South by Southwest again, as well as uh, to Canadian Music Fest this time too. Wow! So I'm hoping to plan a West Coast tour in the Los Angeles before going down to Texas and going up to Canada. And we'll see how that goes because... I mean, uh, it's all about funding and stuff like that, so I'm just a little stressed out on that part. But besides that, um, yeah, I'm looking really forward to sort of shake it up. <laughs> and also now that you're in the States, you know, you have so many collaborations with so many people. Would you like to tell us about some of the collaborations that you're doing? I can't talk about all of them because there's still some of them are still under okay. So yeah, uh, so I've managed to meet a lot of really cool artists in collaboration, uh, as well as... Uh, just people in the studio that I work at, a uh, studio that I'm sort of working at in the future, which is Threshold. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. Like the people there are amazing, like really, really fun people. The sound engineer there is this guy called Todd Bergman. And Todd is only older than me by one year and he's the main sound engineer there. And it's really cool when you, you meet a lot of really talented young people, but they have, they're just so hungry, they're so passionate. And I think that's what I love about being in Los Angeles because uh, it really inspire, inspires you to be exactly that and more. Mm -hmm. So you just feel like stepping your game up every day. And yeah, I mean, in Singapore, you, you don't really get that kind of feeling because sometimes you, as a creative, you kind of feel like you're somewhat the only one. <laughs> really? I mean, you have lots of creative people here, but yeah. on a daily basis, you know, a lot of people would talk to you like, so what's your real job? <laughs> they would ask you <laughs> questions like that, you know? So what's your real job? Oh, so what do you do every day? So tell me, when you wake up in the morning and when you go back and sleep, what do you do, you know? Like they're all very fascinated with the idea that you're someone that does something different. Even if you're someone that just does music on your bedroom and you are sort of, like, deterred to do it because, you know, you have, I don't know, a million of other reasons to tell you not to do it. But as an artist, or as, if to help the local scene, we just generally need to create more vibrancy. That's the first step in our, in, for us. So no matter who you are, when you're in your bedroom, you need to get out. You need to get out. Take it out. Put it out online. Put it outside. For the sake of also making the scene more vibrant. So don't be afraid to put up your stuff. That's important. There's a world 
You know, we um, we saw you grow up in Singapore, and you've done so much. I mean, the media loves you and everything. So, I mean, some people are like, "Why? Why you pay kia? Why you leave Singapore? Why do you want to go to LA to you know do stuff? Aren't you already doing well in Singapore? What what more?" Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been sort of sent, uh, during. I post up a Facebook post about me leaving, and uh, I guess I got accused a lot of people of, like me leaving and giving up on the local scene. Or something like that or I don't know how people view it that way But um, To me Going overseas Is the mo- the natural progression For an artist in Singapore And it is Inevitable In a sense Because If you're an artist in Singapore Besides coming up with an album Promoting that album And playing at all the platforms And stages you can um, What next? You know What can you do? And the next The next possible Option is to really explore your opportunities overseas And after a while of doing all of that Releasing my album, I mean an EP and a full length And then uh, sort of promoting that album And playing at a lot of the platforms in Singapore I just generally didn't get the sense where I had the, the ability to change society or the culture here Um I don't have enough knowledge, I don't have enough experience on the global stage or the music industry. So going overseas where as the opportunities came by, it made the most sense for me to leave because um, this is where I, I would be learning so much more from overseas and being, and I could bring back all of this knowledge. I mean, my greatest desire is to actually come back to be able to, with all that knowledge and experience and see how I can contribute here. Mm, yeah. You need to put yourself on the platform if you want to be known for your craft. Putting yourself on the international stage makes much more sense. Then you'll be able to start having a more realistic point of view on where you stand and you'll be able to work where you want to go. Uh, and on, on top of that, like it is it is slightly embarrassing that Singaporeans, I mean, a Singaporean, a Singaporean artist needs to perpetually go overseas in order to be recognized locally. It's a bit, it's, it is quite sad because sometimes this is me when I'm lying, lying in bed and I kind of wish, like, oh, if only if I go overseas and you have, you know, your people backing you, up, backing you up behind, in which there is a great community and people who do that here. Um, but there could be more because, you know, there definitely could be more that we'll be able to support our ex enough that we would want to export them instead of perpetually feeding on import culture. And you know, you are synonymous with the colour wheel. All right, it's on your website, it's on your head. Today, not here lah. Episode, episode. Can you tell me what's that? Uh, the colour wheel is actually the title of the next new album. <gasps> <laughs> it's called the color wheel and what it represents is a shield mm-hmm. um, in which the new album is based on a quote by Albert Einstein or Edmund uh, Edmund Burt if whatever you want to think of uh, it's uh, for, in order for evil to prevail good men need to do nothing wow so um, it's not so much about fighting back uh, I believe it's more of being someone that is unmovable wow so that's what the shield kind of represents. Wow, so much. You know, just so team at the same time, so beautiful. You know, you gotta let it sink in for a little while. But that was truly beautiful. And, and you always, you know, are seen in that little wheel thing. Did you make it or what? Yeah, I mean, it's with me actually. It's some, but it's made out of cardboard. And I just painted it and I just put it on like this band that I bought for like a buck or something like that. You have one or many? I just have one, but I've made a couple of wheels that I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. Maybe on an accessory and other stuff like that. It's stuff that I like to do to kill time. <laughs> and so, you know, what's going to happen for you in uh, 12, you know, 2012, uh, 12 months ahead, you know, what's going to be, you know, keeping you busy? New album, promoting the new album. And yeah, I just, I think all of my mind right now is just that album. I promise it's going to be good like it's gonna be kick assery of epic proportions <laughs> <laughs> how many songs have you done so far uh, half the album is written already okay. so i'll be working the other half in the studio while recording because i kind of want to keep it fresh when i do the recording at the same time as well i'll be working with other producers and songwriters oh. and create something uh like yeah a really good standard 
album. Is it gonna sound like you, or are you gonna be different? Uh, I think it it wouldn't be me. If, yeah, I want something very me, but at the same time, my direction is it's probably very different from what most people are used to from the old the old last album. Oh. Because the new album's a bit more rock. No. Yeah, it's going back a bit more rock. Going backwards a little bit more, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I like uh, like. There's something that I like about the singer-songwriter genre Just because it's very pretty It's very pretty-ish, you know, that, that feeling cute. It's cute, pretty So, And I love rock music So I kind of want to try to fuse those two ideologies together this time around So it's a pretty rock, if you think about it <laughs> That's gonna be great And I'm very excited for you Thank you so much for sitting down and sharing your, you know Your life with us And of course, I cannot thank you enough You're my sister from Another Mother <laughs> This is Inchua and this is lofisg.tv Like